Hi, I would like to tell about the progress I made in Conquer Chess, Battle of Liberty, a Battle for Liberty, since I just saw my latest YouTube was about five months ago. So this is what we had, with an option screen with some settings, menu screen about, screen around. That's, that's all very nice and this is how the game looked like. Well, you see, the, so one of the things that has changed, now if you move the cursor also with the mouse it makes a sound effect um, also here um, you can like like if you click on it it will move up and down this will immediately show it. you can go back and forward this is new like setting the controls now you can uh, so each player can use a keyboard and or a mouse and then total one player can use the mouse so this is i've added the darkening effect there um, but you can't set the keys yet, so you have to stick with the standard the key setup. Um, in the game itself, I've changed a bit of the setup. So at the top left, when you select a player, uh, you can see the action. So, so a player has four actions maximally, like a piece can do four actions maximally at one time. Uh, and the first action will always be something, something that makes sense. So in this case, unselecting the king is one of them. Uh, but if I move the king here, it will move there, and um, and then it will it will move there. And there's there's some kind of nice messaging system. Um, what's still wrong in the moving is that if I put the king here, it should take one, two, three, four, five time steps. Uh, it doesn't. It still goes there in one go. But now when it selects the other king, the first icon will be to attack. Right. There's one situation in which there's only one situation in which a piece can do multiple things, and that's when it promotes either a queen, a rook, a bishop, or a knight. Um, so let's do a do a, a, a rook just for fun, um, and and that that works nicely. Um, so I think the most important thing is the control system that I've changed. Um, there are a lot of things being fixed behind the back to make it uh, a, a more. Um, like, like there were a lot of bug fixes uh, fixed, um, and one of the things I've mostly been working on is, is for example, en passant is still not there, is is still not in. Um, there was a bug report. Um, uh, one of the fun limitations I've put it in. So I just showed you that um, that for example, let's let's take a pawn here. Like it. Sh it, it can move to either here or here in one time unit, but still this will also be one time unit. Um, this is false. Um, we're going to we're going to limit this to one thing: is that real games, like real actual play, the games should be legal, uh, and that's a very important design decision that I made. Is a real game should like if you play a real game with the right timing, then it should be played just as is, including the en passant, including the castling. Um, uh, of course, uh, mating uh, a king, I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. Um, and maybe en passant, it's a bit unclear, for example, attacking a unit. So, so let's take, thi so let's take this, um, this pawn here, and I've not checked this, so maybe it doesn't even work. But let's take this black pawn here, let's move it forward. Um, so when can it select this pawn? Um, not yet. All right. So so now it crashes. So 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 there's a question: When can a unit actually start attacking already? All right. So that's the progress update of Conquer Chess again, and I wish you a very good day. Bye.